Hey, sneaker friends. Today, we're going to talk about another Adidas shoe. Now, we talked about lots of boost, ultra boost, Parley X boost, and then solar boost. Well, today, we're going to have a look at the glide, the solar glide. Now, this shoe came out right around the same time as the solar boost. And I heard a lot of talk about solar boost, so I went after that shoe. But really, I think this one is my favorite so far. Glide is available on Adidas's website. It's $140. I ordered a women's seven and a half and I do feel like it fits true to size. The outsole on this shoe is the Continental Stretch Rubber. It's a total of about three millimeters with about a one and a half millimeter web and about a two millimeter lug. The hardness is about seven. The outsole has a ton of coverage. It's the same thing you expect on basically all the Boost shoes. The midsole is exactly the same as the Solar Boost. I couldn't find any differences in the midsole whatsoever. Whatsoever. A majority of the difference of the shoe is in the upper. Boost material hardness is about 30 and it has a 10 millimeter offset in the shoe. The upper is a mesh with some four foot ribbing in it. Now this ribbing in the four foot, we'll give you a zoomed in shot here, has got some breathability in it, but otherwise the upper is fully lined and very similar to the Solar Boost. I find this upper very comfortable and I really enjoy the aesthetics of the shoe. The upper has a pretty standard tongue. It does have a loop in it to go through the laces and you do have a flat lace. The torsion system seems to be a new torsion system in the bottom. We'll look at this more closely when we compare it directly to the Solar Boost. To me, it looked like they had molded maybe a new system in the bottom of the shoe. You will notice that the torsion system comes in on the medial side of the heel, does not go into the forefoot at all. Your heel counter is the same as Solar Boost and a lot of the other Boost shoes. Uh, it's a medium hardness, it's not connected in the heel, uh, and provides good stability on the medial and lateral side. The sock liner is pretty much your standard Boost sock liner. It's about five millimeters thick. It's a hardness of about 30, so similar to what the foam hardness is. But I did notice it has a new texture on the bottom, so I wonder if they open a new set of molds for this sock liner. The strobel in this shoe is basically a woven material that has cutouts in it. It's about a millimeter thick. And in this particular model, the Solar Glide, it is glued down. You can see cement around the perimeter of the holes that are cut out. Now for weight, the right shoe weighs 256 grams and the left shoe weighs 258 grams. That's a difference of two grams between the pair and a total of 514 grams for the pair. This lines right up with most of your Boost and Ultra Boost products. Overall, the fit of the shoe feels great. Like I mentioned, it is, does fit true to size. The underfoot feel is great. It's the typical boost that you expect. Keep watching to see on foot of this shoe. I think it looks really great. You know, I almost didn't buy this shoe until I saw someone wearing it and I thought it just looked awesome. Well, that pretty much covers it for the Solar Glide. Now, this was an unexpected shoe. You know, I'm super happy. Several of you commented saying, check out the Solar Glide, check out the Solar Glide. And I'm super happy I did because it's now one of my favorite models. It might be my favorite boost model right now. Um, I do still love a couple of the other ones, but uh, overall for aesthetics and wearing this every day all day, on point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have an awesome day. See you.